Boy, when he grabbed me, I mean, just the feeling of pure terror. New at 11 held at knife point. A woman attacked before work in broad daylight. Tonight, she's speaking about the scary encounter with nine on your side. The woman says this man put her in a chokehold and stole her car in Western Hills this morning. And tonight, she is urging everyone out there to be on the lookout. Nine on your side's Jake Rouse spoke one on one with that woman. He joins us now live to walk us through what happened. Jake, tell us. Well, Tanya Kelly Huber says she's grateful to be alive at this point after her morning routine was rudely interrupted by a man with a knife. And now she's hoping someone will recognize him that ultimately could get him off the streets. Kelly Huber doesn't want to remember. It was just mind boggling, horrible. What happened Monday morning at around seven? Nothing like this has ever remotely happened to me before. She's worked for this electrical training center on Glenway in Western Hills for 22 years. Every morning before work, she sits at this picnic table and smokes a cigarette. I caught something out of the corner of my eye and I looked up and he was already past me. The man she thought at first could be an applicant, someone training to be an electrician. I said, can I help you with something? And he just charged me. He was right in front of the table. He came around. He grabbed me by the neck. She says the man can be seen in these surveillance pictures. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was him. To make matters worse, Huber says he had a knife. He said, yeah, we're going to get in the car. But what she had. My instincts took over and I just knew I had to get away. The lit end of a cigarette. I just knew I had to get away and I thought I got this cigarette and I just jabbed back. She broke free and screamed for help. She says the suspect seen here with light brown dreadlocks, a blue shirt and gray sweatpants stole her keys and took her 2018 Chevrolet SUV. That car would later be found in over the Rhine. As for the reported attacker, Huber has a message for him. There's a better way to live in, you know, for whatever reason he's chosen this path and maybe he should choose a different one. Now, Huber does tell me she does plan on changing up her morning routine. You had a chance to see that earlier on that uh, picture of the potential suspect. That is what you should be calling or you should be calling Crime Stoppers if you have any information related to this investigation that could help uh, get that man under arrest. For now, reporting live in Westwood, Jake Ryle 9 on your side.